So a new book is coming out by Johnny Carson's former lawyer, oh, yeah. a guy yeah. named Henry Bushkin, mm -hmm. uh, who was uh, Carson's lawyer from 1970 Bombastic to 1988, Bushkin. which were many of Johnny's prime years right in there. And, and he's just bashing Johnny, and of course Johnny's long gone at this point. He's saying he was difficult to work with, a bad husband, a bad father, he always carried a gun, he was unhappy, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now, first off, what happened to attorney-client privilege? Isn't there some sort of, uh, well, you're I don't not think supposed to I do don't that, aren't you? I don't think that's, some of the things that you listed there are not, particularly attorney-client privilege. Right, Th the those general are just, themes. Those are, just right. Per those are just things that he observed from spending, I think, 18 years with Johnny, but. But he goes into pretty it's specific very ex instances. It's so exploitative, it's so exploitative. I think that's really unethical. Yeah. I think it's really unethical. So I wanted, what I wanted to talk to you guys about this was just the comedian aspect of this, because comedians were known to be, uh, that this comes from a dark place and we're all warped and messed up and all this stuff. Don't we have a right to that? Sort of, if we're gonna yeah. if we're gonna make people laugh and talk yeah. about the truth and all that stuff, don't we have a right to it? And then that it shouldn't be splashed once we're once we're gone. Well, uh, go ahead, you want to? No, I just, I mean, uh, first of all, I have nothing to hide. Anybody wants to write a book about me, like after I'm dead, I'm fine. Talk I don't, to your lawyer. I, I really don't care. Yeah, but. Um, Th that's one thing when you talk about you know uh, uh, us being you know dark and, and, and that type of personality. But when he because you know, don't you think there's sort of this implication that he was this friendly guy that everyone yes. loved? No, but the and thing what is, what he's really what they're trying to do in the book is be like, but look no, what he really uh, look, was. There, there was a, there was a terrific documentary about Johnny Carson earlier l I this saw year, it. and yeah. and I and I worked on the show and I met him and I conversed with him to a point. And he was not a very social person, and it's not, it's not a secret. You know, he was an uncomfortable person. And, um, and it said that in the documentary. But I think, and not having read this book, I think that Bushkin goes beyond this. And you know, when he talks about trying to break into his uh, wife's, uh, ex-wife's apartment, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's illegal. I mean, that's illegal stuff that you, that's, it's completely exploitative. Right, and also always carrying around a gun and all that. So, I mean, is this just another example of just somebody just trying to make a buck on somebody yes. else's talent, and basically? I'm, I, you know what, I, I will have to admit that I am glad that his lawyer has such low standards and no ethics, because it's fun to read this stuff. <laughs> It re I re was really happy to hear yeah. uh, that, that Johnny Carson was even more flawed than I am. And, uh, you know, the fact that he would be, uh, I know that he married three women named Joanna, right? Right. And, uh, but the, the thing is when he went to, his wife had taken out a apartment. She was leasing an apartment where she would go and have sexual trysts with her lover, and it turned out her lover was Frank, Frank Gifford. Gifford. Yep. Right. Oh boy, the MVP. <laughs> The MVP, your wife no is begging the MVP. No wonder Johnny was pissed. Yeah, so, and then, uh, but it was, it, there's, there is some funny insights, the way he dealt with the, uh, so one night he's drinking at a bar, and uh, he calls up Ed McMahon, it was right after he found out his wife was cheating. Did you read this book? So I read parts of it, there was excerpts oh, of the okay, paper. Right. Right. And so uh, he's sitting there drink, uh, drinking with Ed, and then when the lawyer shows up, he's, uh, he turns to Ed and goes, we're done here, right Ed? And then Ed just gets up and walks away. It was kind of was like, oh, hey, yeah, okay. yeah. So uh, you know what I mean? That's yeah. So wow. okay. So this all, all this stuff is again from 1970 to 1988, before Twitter and Facebook and all right. that stuff. And Johnny clearly had no privacy even then. So should any of us expect anyone that's even remotely in the public eye at all? Should we have, expect to have any? privacy wh while we're alive or when we're alive. You know, it's, it's really up to the ethics of individuals. And there are a lot of people who, who don't respect other people's privacy, and that's the way it's going to be. And that's why I like to have no secrets, because then nobody can hurt me. That's, you know? that's, mm -hmm. So I can tell people about my propitia use, <laughs> so it can't be used against me. Yeah. Um, that's I, what they'll you, say about Jimmy when he's long gone. He used That wasn't oh. his real hair. That, <laughs> but it is your real it is hair. It's just. Hair. Through science. Exactly. Thank you. Yeah. So, but you were talking about, you know, th this revealing what a dark side Johnny Carson had and, you know, somehow comedians are, uh, I think everyone has dark sides. I think everyone is messed up horribly and that's that comedians just have a talent. They have just, you know. We're doing something to, with to it. Yeah. take it and Yes, Jerry Seinfeld, I like the way he said that. You know, he says, you know, uh, he was talking with Gary Shandling and Gary Shandling was saying, don't you think we come from a place where we need this attention, we need this, uh, that's why we get on stage, that's why, and then Jerry Seinfeld says, yeah, or we could have talent. 
That could be that. And I agree. I think that we comedians are as Yeah, but Jerry would never admit that he has a dark side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. What's but the I, deal with the dark side? <laughs> <laughs> that I don't have. That I don't have. <laughs> but I, I think that we all, I think everyone has dark sides. And I, uh, I think that's why people connect with those kind of stories. And I just think, again, that, that comedians have talent to be able to like make light of them. Yeah. Don't you think? But is it hard for people to- And people with dark, with worse, you know, if everything's hunky-dory in your life, what, what, what right, is that happy families are all happy in the same way? way it's unhappy families are all unhappy uniquely yeah. I, I don't know if I'm butchering that quote but so that's why you need you don't need comedy if everything's hunky-dory in your life that's why I say you know conservatives don't do comedy they're the reason we need comedy in the first fucking place yeah. right so that 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 I think that everybody's messed up and don't take yeah, that. it is interesting how there are not there are not really I, who are the conservative, conservative comics? There are. D when Dennis Miller went conservative, he, he got, became lost his way. Well, you can't right. be fun. But he got a lot of money out of Bill O'Reilly. You can't, but comedy is supposed to punch upward. Right, exactly. It's supposed to, and when right. it goes downward, it's called bullying. Right. And so now Dennis Miller is a bully. bully right. He's not actually a comedian. He's not right. using comedy in the service of the underdog. He's using comedy in the service of the bully, and that's why he's not right. a comedian. Not funny. He's, as, De is, as Andy Kindler says, he, Dennis Miller, a retired hired comedian yeah. even he would be able to see right so by yeah. the way i apologize for implying that jerry seinfeld may have had it may have a dark side. No, 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 no. It's none of my business. No, you none acknowledge that Jimmy yeah. and you and me may. Oh, God. Yes. I mean, I have a very, I have such a dark side. Yeah. I, have so, I was at my friend's house the other day, and he lives on one of the canyons, and I said, you know what's great about your house? Uh, if you want to commit suicide, you just walk out <laughs> and try to cross the street. <laughs> That's how I look at things. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we usually don't end on suicide, yeah. but I feel like that was a pretty... I uh, always end on suicide. A pretty <laughs> solid <laughs> ending. The Ruben Report is brought to you by Coupon.com. They've got up to 75% off cat and dog treats, toys, and more. You can get another 20% off using code RR. The link is right down below. Click it and make your pet happy.